Alright, so this is brilliant. Uh -huh. This is actually a pre voiceover, post voiceover. What am I saying? Uh, my original audio for this video got freaking corrupted. I don't want to talk about it. Don't even at me. Like, my, my next three videos, all the recording of the voiceover got corrupted. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, so this is my post commentary of the video. The video is already recorded. I know what happens and everything, but. We're going to go ahead and talk about what's happening here. So we have a full Gogeta team, the first one ever in the game. We're missing one more Gogeta to fill the slot. Oops. <laughs> one more Gogeta to fill the slot. And with the release of the new base form Gogeta, we now have the ability to build an entire Gogeta team. Now, I know we have Veku, who's a freaking yikes. He's actually an SR. You farm. He only awakens to an SSR. He doesn't have an awakening, which is kind of like why. Like... They've had so many opportunities to awaken this man. He actually dropped with the original STR Gogeta, like way back in the day. So we actually had the Intelligence 1 drop, he didn't awaken. We had the LR1 drop, he didn't awaken. We had Super Saiyan Gogeta, which is now the new movie heroes leader, come through and he didn't awaken then. We had an EZA for this guy and he still didn't awaken. Like, when are you going to awaken Deku? That just leads me to believe that they're either going to have another Gogeta sometime in the future or they're just not going to bother this guy like at all. Anyway, so full Gogeta team and I know the LR is kind of like he is still Gogeta. As you can see, um, he does transform and, you know, thus becoming Super Gogeta. So he is the best Super Gogeta in the game. But him and the Super Saiyan Gogeta, they, have, they technically have two different names. This technically is Super Saiyan Gogeta Angel. But because at this point of at this point in the entire series, he was never alive. Like Gogeta was never alive. So no, you can't really call him Super Gogeta Angel because all he's known is to have been dead. Anyway, so we we'll take on the event and kind of see how this team works with the synergy, uh, see if it's viable. And obviously the oddball out is Veku. He's not gonna do anything. I damn near die actually because of Veku. <laughs> Uh, I try to make that. Um, I try to make Veku the hero, and uh, he just cucks the boy. Like in the end, but you're gonna see that when it comes. So I just thought, why not put together a really cool and somewhat wonky team, but at the same time, it's more so fun. Like we have the most. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to say that, but one of the most powerful fusions. I was gonna say the most powerful fusion, but I don't want to call it con controversy, whatever. Anyway, so I love Gogeta, but he's one of the most powerful fusions and we can finally build an entire team around his character we have dead weight literally dead weight with Veku like he does nothing I think his passive is like he has a medium chance to reduce damage by 50% or he has a medium chance to like increase defense by 50% like it's, it's like a conditional passive and, and it does nothing when it activates like it's not really anything at all so he's just kind of there uh, he doesn't do damage literally fodder uh, I think actually in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, didn't they actually introduce the skinny Gogeta as well? I think when they did the fusions, we had the skinny Gogeta failure. So we could actually get a skinny Gogeta in the future. Uh, I'm not sure what they would call him because with the Gotenks, those characters, the fat transformation and the skinny transformation, they don't really have names. This is called Fusion Failure A and Fusion Failure B, but Veku actually has a name. Which is weird. Like, why is his name Veku? Like, he's still Gogeta. He still takes Goku and Vegeta doing the fusion dance to become that character. But he has a completely different name than Gogeta. I don't even know, bro. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Either way, it's still cool to run this team. Now, um, we do kind of mollywop the event. And I'm taking on the Brandon Trunks event because I actually have the intelligence Mai from the future. And she actually becomes a really good support for the time travel category team. So I kind of farm this event as I do videos to kind of acquire the medals and also cover some content at the same time. So two birds and one stone. Uh, now my last video I posted about Gogeta, it didn't really do well. I don't know why I guess sub boxes, it just didn't really hit. So uh, link is down below to the very last video of how to easy AD base Gogeta. Because I actually got comments in the comment section about how did you easy him because he doesn't have his own easy event. 
I have the video down below. Go ahead and check it out if you do want to know how to easily hit him or if you're a global player and uh, you might want to farm the medals ahead of time because you can farm the medals ahead of time to have them on the ready. Go ahead and watch the video down below as to how to ease the, the base Gogeta all the way. And I think he's worth it. You know, when I like my thing about free to play cards is that they don't get respected, respectable stat increases from the dupe system. They get like minuscule stat increases. They still get the 15 criticals or the 20 additional or whatever dodge you want to give them. But in terms of like HP attack and defense, it's literally cut in half. So you, you have to waste like actual orbs. Like you have to spend your hard earned like farmed orbs on these free to play fodder units they get no stat increases bro that should be illegal but you know bandai's like nah we're gonna give you the easy a but not give him free orbs <laughs> oh you think you're so funny bandai well guess what? i have orbs on the ready i have orbs on the ready my boy i've been playing this game for three plus years i got orbs anyway so everyone's performed, uh, performed relatively well i think i get the super Gujia transformation maybe i don't remember and another thing is that I don't really get why, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm talking about the team, but I'm kind of like nitpicking out things, I'm kind of noticing at the same time, so, I guess it's a cool thing that when he transforms, him and Super Gogeta links them together because it just works for better team synergy, but they have the same name, and this game is all about establishing, like, the first thing learned about this game, you cannot run units of the same name, so I get that. Like, you already have the LR on the team as Goku and Vegeta. Once he transforms, though, he becomes Super Gogeta. So, you technically have two of them on the same team, but they link. I don't get it. Anyway, that's another video. We're going to be talking about uh, why I don't like transformations in another video. That's going to be coming relatively soon. So, be on the lookout for that video because I don't like transformations. Anyways. Uh, okay, so we get the transformation. Yeah, so he transforms. I don't think the LR transforms, unfortunately. But I cannot wait for the day. Where we can run a full Vegito team. And who do we actually need for that? Because we have base Vegito, uh, Super Saiyan Gogito, Gogito, what? Sorry, what Vegito I'm talking about? Okay, we have base Vegito, we have Super Saiyan Vegito, we have Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. That's it. I, yeah, we have LR Vegito as well. Uh, you know, Goku and Vegeta separate and then they fuse. So we would need a, I guess, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito existing heroes and you need a super saiyan 3 vegeta who actually also exists in heroes so for us to fill the vegeta void heroes gonna have to come through really really clutch for us but that hasn't happened yet so we can only talk about it but as you can see the team just casually like decimates the event although we have the dead weight which is veku literally dead weight that you know we still molly walk the event and um i I almost die because of Veku because I'm like, yo, yo, let's give Veku the freaking kill. Let's make him the MVP. What a freaking mistake. Like, bro, his passive didn't even activate. Uh, if it activated, I think, like, okay, even if you mitigate down by 50%, like, his defense is fodder. He's still going to take tons of damage, stupid amount of damage. So I'm like, yo, let me leave him in the first slot and let me give him the victory. Let's, let's make Veku the one who is the mvp but this man does no damage i'm like yo do i have attack items i don't have any attack items so i literally leave it all up to this man to come through and he takes like 50k damage per attack i'm like god damn it i'm about to die this man does no damage 16k yep i'm gonna die right here i'm gonna die and that saved me <laughs> that saved me and he doesn't attack at this point uh trunks needs to do his countdown for him to actually get an attack off a super Destroy my world!